Hello, this is Peter Newman. I'm going to look at the fluent uh, meshing, the fault tolerant meshing, and I have here a space claim geometry that's a pipe and a valve, and the two ends of the, the ro axis of rotation of the valve are interfering with the solid of the pipe. There's no hole in the pipe, and in the watertight uh, geometry flow it did not uh, work, so I've uh, got the standalone fluent launcher here and checked off meshing mode. And I'm going to start up fluent and note that uh, in space claim, one of the requirements is to do file save as and use a uh, FM database file format. So I've done that. And that's needed to be read into this uh, fluent uh, workflow, which is the fault tolerant meshing. And the first step is to find that file, which is in the pipe with valve. There it is, with some named selections that we'll be using. And as we load that, we see the geometry is there. <coughs> We're going to create meshing objects and it'll advance us to the next step where we'll tell it internal flow and we will use caps. So we're going to go forward and give the, uh, the inlet a name and use the in cap named selection that was done in space claim. And then for outlet, we'll uh, change the type and pick the out cap. So we're finished with enclosing the uh, regions. There's a fluid region, and we're going to use numerical input to get this material point. And if I push it 10 millimeters along X, it will go inside the pipe. And I can say that point identifies the fluid region. Then there's a pipe region. And I have a zone name that I created, which is the pipe domain. And on that pipe region, uh, let me edit that. I forgot to set it to void. I'm not meshing that. It's just enclosing. So we'll update that and define a, another region which is the valve domain or valve region that is, is a, defined with a zone and it is a, a void and it's the valve domain and that's now identified. Now we can go on. There's no leakage in this so we'll just update that and we'll update this and it's done. Um, we'll choose the mesh and uh, here we can do some size controls but I'm focusing on the uh, boundary layers this time and I will say yes I do want some boundary layers and I just I'll have one for now and so we'll update that with picking the fluid region to set that up and then generate a surface mesh update that And finally, generate the volume mesh. We'll uh, take a quick look here. There is our uh, fluid mesh, and here we could have used uh, smaller elements to make better. Um, you should see just the post at the top of the valve showing through. So these elements are too large, but uh, that's not the point of the exercise. It's just the point is to get through the workflow once, and here it is, a volume mesh. And we're done. So there is our uh, one, one boundary layer of prism elements. Uh, 
hex core and uh, just the fluid region meshed the pipe and valve avoids so a successful run through the fault tolerant uh, meshing thanks for watching